So many lost and dying in this world today. Have you heard their crying, or do you turn away? The harvest now is plenteous, but the laborers are few. God needs some willing vessels to be used. Satan's stronghold in Utah through the LDS church is slipping, and God has shown himself mighty. In 2021, the LDS Church refused to show its documents to the Utah government because the coronavirus caused them a dramatic decline. We are here to be Christ's light in Satan's dark place. We serve in many capacities such as hospitality, music, the men's ministries, teaching the teens, ladies' ministries such as ladies' tea, preaching, children's church, discipleship, and evangelism. We are also engaged in other outreach ministries such as nursing home. The journey for Mormons to get saved is a long road. Um, coming out of Mormonism is difficult, and you have to deconstruct some ideas that you've, you've been taught. So for me, it took me well over a decade. Grace in Mormonism is, is very works-based, and um, there is no peace in it. And, and for me, that is the fundamental difference. I just wanted to say that before I was saved, in my past, bringing up in a different religion, I was more confused and and now that within the past couple years of being saved, I am more at peace. The turning point for me basically was uh, the Bible, what the Bible said, uh, the biblical view of grace and peace. There was no real peace in Mormonism, but the peace that I found through Jesus Christ was my turning point. Many others also trusted in Christ these past few years. BPS because I was convicted of my sin and I wanted Jesus into my life. It was just the next day was when I went to Michigan in North Carolina and I didn't want to go to hell when I if I crashed so I got saved. I know I'm saved because I believed in Jesus Christ as my Savior. When mom was driving, I said, can we get saved? Can I get saved? And mom said, yeah, when we get home. And then we got home and then we prayed to get saved and then I got saved. Being located close to a local university, we always have students actively attending our church, even getting involved. I can share in faithfully minister to the students with the Bible. God has added new servants to our ministry, such as Freddie, who takes care of our grounds. Nathan oversees our nursing home ministries. Jonathan is our new Sunday school teacher. And we added five more ushers. Tell them of the crimson 